first and foremost, I would suggest that at this point in time, adjuvant therapy is really not a standard of care for localized renal cell carcinoma. However, there is several studies which we highlighted today that are potentially going to put these agents into that disease space. Uh, so for instance, in the category of VEGF-directed therapies, I can think of five trials that have been completed to date that assess targeted therapies uh, directed at uh, the vascular endothelial growth factor. Uh, for instance, just as one example, the ASSURE trial, which was completed about two years ago now, compared sunitinib, serafinib, and placebo and a large pool of patients, close to 2,000 patients. Uh, that study will hopefully report out within the next two to three years or so. Uh, we had a couple of important lessons learned from studies like the ASSURE trial. Uh, first and foremost, patients in the adjuvant setting may not tolerate the same doses that they might in the metastatic setting. Uh, for instance, uh, in the ASSURE trial, doses had to be reduced with sunitinib and serafinib. Uh, patients, as opposed to starting on the standard 50 milligrams a day of sunitinib or 800 milligrams total per day of serafinib received just 37.5 milligrams of sunitinib and literally half the dose of serafinib therapy. Uh, so these might be important lessons moving forward. Uh, we do have one trial in the adjuvant setting that looks at mTOR inhibition using the agent Everolimus. Uh, this is the so-called Everest trial, and this trial compares Everolimus versus placebo uh, in a total pool of about 1,100 patients. That study is about halfway accrued. I would say that the only assessment of targeted therapies that's been completed to date uh, is outside of the VEGF and mTOR directed category. It's for one of the non-traditional agents uh, called gerontuximab. Uh, this is an agent that targets CA9. This data was just reported at ASCO this past year. And gerontuximab was not noted to have any significant impact on disease-free survival or overall survival, uh, two of the critical endpoints in that study.